Today we're going to be learning how to compare decimal fractions. First let's have a look at an example. In this example we're going to be comparing the fractions 0 0.2 and 0 0.09 and we need to determine which of these is larger, which one has a greater value. So first of all just be careful, just because the 0 0.09 has a 9 in it which is normally bigger than a 2, you can't automatically assume that this fraction is going to have a greater value than that fraction. We need to look at their place values. So let's have a look at what these look like in the place value table. So over here, I put these two fractions, 0 0.2 and 0 0.09, in the place value table. Remember when you do this, be careful that your decimal points are directly underneath each other in their own column like this. Over here I've got my ones, here I've got my tenths, and here I've got my, my hundredths. Now, two tenths, because that's where in 0 0.2 the two is in the tenths position, two tenths has a greater value than nine hundredths has. Okay, so because two tenths has a greater value than nine hundredths, we can then say that 0 0.2 is greater than 0 0.09, even though the number two on its own is less than the number nine on its own. Because of their positions in their respective numbers, 0 0.2 is greater than 0 0.09. So let's have a look at how we would do this without having to draw that huge table every single time. So if I take the, the fraction 0 0.2, instead of drawing that whole table, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that fraction and the other fraction, I'm going to write them directly underneath each other so that the comma is in a column underneath each other like that. So then I've got over here 0 0.09. So all of the digits need to be in columns. So I've got my ones, I've got my commas, I've got my tenths, and over here I've got my hundredths. Now, over here, this could be a zero. I don't need to write the zero over there, but it could be zero over there. Okay, now when you are comparing decimal fractions, what you need to be aware of is that any position in the number that is further to, to the left is going to have a greater value than any position that is further to the right. Ones have a greater value than tenths. Tenths have a greater value than hundredths. And if I move for further this way, let's just have a look at this table over here. Ten thousands is greater than thousands. Thousands is greater than hundreds. Hundreds is greater than tens. Tens is greater than ones. Ones is greater than tenths. Tenths is greater than hundredths. Hundreds is greater than thousandths. Thousandths is greater than ten thousandths. So as we move further to the left, the value gets greater. As we move further to the right, the, the value gets less. Okay, so when I am comparing my fractions like this over here, if I look at where the digits are in the numbers in terms of left and right positions, that'll help me to determine where they, what their value is in comparison to each other. So over here, if, if I move from the left to the right, over here, the first digit I get to is my ones. Now both of these have zero in the ones position. So that means that I don't need to worry about that. So far, they have the same value as each other. Now I go on to the next digit, the tenths position. Now the tenths position, if you look over here at 0 0.2, it's got a two in the tenths position, but 0 0.09 has a zero in the tenths position. So I'm not worried about that nine at all. At the moment, I am just looking at the two and the zero. Two is greater than zero. So even though 2 is less than 9, because the 2 is in the tenths position, I'm not comparing 2 to 9, I'm comparing 2 to 0. So 2 is greater than 0, and this one didn't have anything before the 2. It didn't have anything further left than that 2. So over here, at this point, all I can say is that 2 is greater than 0. Now because I know that is greater than that, this whole number must be greater than that whole number. It doesn't matter what comes after it because I already know that this is greater than that. So I can say over here 0 0.2 is greater than 0 0.09. It doesn't matter that this 9 is over here. The fact that the 9 is there doesn't make any difference because the, the 9 is in the hundredths position and hundredths are worth, are worth less than tenths are. Okay, so 0 0.2 is greater than 0 0.09. So now I'm going to give you a few that you're going to do for yourself. Okay, so in each of these examples, you are going to compare the values of the different decimal fractions that you've been given over there, and you need to determine if they are less than, greater than, or equal to each other. I'm going to give you three minutes to work on these examples.
Okay, so let's go through all of those. So in the first one, we had 0.03 and 0.3. Now, if I write those underneath each other like this, 0.03, if I put the comma directly underneath, then this is going to be 0.3 like that. So when I compare them going from left to right, in the ones position, they both are zero. So, so, so far they're this, they have the same value. Then I go to the tenths position. Over here, I've got zero, and over here, I've got three. Three is greater than zero. Now, I don't have to compare anything as I, anything further right, because I can already say, based on that, that 0 0.3 is greater than 0 0.03, or 0 0.03 is less than 0 0.3. So over here, this is less. Okay, next one, 0 0.52 and 0 0.502. So now I'm going to write them underneath each other like this, 0 0.52, 0 0.502. Okay, so now when I compare those, again, moving from left to right, I've got my ones are both zero. My tenths are both five. So now they both have the same value so far. So now I need to go on and compare my hundredths. The 2 is greater than 0, which means that 0 0.52 is greater than 0 0.502. So this is going to be greater than like that. Next, I've got 0 0.9 and 0 0.90. So when I compare them like this, as I move from left to right, the zeros are the same. Then I've got my comma, then the 9s are the same. And then I've got an, a 0 over here. Now remember, when you're writing a decimal fraction, after the comma, you can write, you can continue writing zeros if you want to or if you need to. Okay, so this over here, I could actually have a zero over there. It wouldn't make the value of that any different. So these are actually identical to each other. So these, I can say, are equal. Even though that has an extra zero written over there, it doesn't mean it's worth any more than this one is. Okay, the next one, I've got 0 0.4 and 4.0. So 0 0.4 and 4.0. In this case over here, as I look from left to right, the 4 in the 4.0 is in the 1's position. And over here in the 0 0.4, the 1's position is just 0. So this one is greater than that. So 4 is greater than 0 0.4 or 0 0.4 is less than 4.0. So that's what we should have got for question D. Then... Question E, we've got 0 0.83 and 0 0.38. When I compare those, 0 0.83 and 0 0.38. As I move from left to right, first in my ones position, I've got zeros. So the same so far. Then in my tenths position, I've got 8 over here and 3 over there. 8 is greater than 3. That means that 0 0.83 is going to be greater than 0 0.38. So that is greater than that. Then I've got the next one, 1 and 0 0.9999. Now in, in the one, you can't see the decimal point. But remember, the one is in the ones position and the comma comes straight after and anything after that would be zeros, okay? Over here, I've got zero in my ones position, comma, and then 999. Now 999 might look like it would be bigger than one, but be careful because the one, as we move from left to right, I first get to my units, the one is greater than zero, which means that 1 is greater than 0 0.999. So that is going to be greater over there. Then I've got 2.34 and 23.4. When I write them underneath each other, I get 2,34 like that and 23,4 like that. As I move from left to right, now I don't have anything in this position over here. That's the tens position, but I do over here. So this is the same as zero. If you can't see anything, it means it's zero. So I've got zero and two. Two is greater than zero or zero is less than two. So 2.34 is going to be less than 23.4. Then the next one, I've got 8.305 and 8.035. So when I write those underneath each other, like this, I'm going to compare these, and now I can say, okay, working from left to right, in the ones position, I've got eights. They are the same so far. Then I get over here to the tenths position. This one has got a three, and this one's got a zero. So in this tenths position, I can say already that the 8.305 is greater than 8.035 because this has got three tenths and that's got no tenths. So this is going to be 8.305 is greater than 8.3 or 8.035.
Now this last one you have to be very, very careful with. Negative 0.32. So I'm just going to be comparing the 0.32 in terms of place value. So I've got 0.32 and 0.23. Okay. Now, when I compare these, in my ones position, they're both zero, so they both have the same value so far. Then in my tenths position, three is greater than two, so 0 0.32 is greater than 0 0.23. So I'm going to just write this over here quickly. 0 0.32 is greater than 0 0.23. But be careful, these are negative, okay? Now, if you think about it with negative numbers, if I look at my number line, so let's just look over here quickly at a number line over here. Here I've got zero, and here I've got one, two, or oh, that's negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Okay, negative four, if I compare this number and that number, I can say negative four is less than negative two. So normally I would say four is greater than two, but when I'm looking at negative numbers, negative four is going to be less than negative two. So you have to be careful when you're working with negative numbers, you have to switch it around. It's the opposite way to what it looks like. So if in this example over here, it looks like 0 0.32 is greater than 0 0.23, because it is, when I'm comparing the negative values of 0 0.32 and 0 0.23, so it's negative 0 0.32 and negative 0 0.23, then it's going to be the other way around. If 0 0.32 is greater than 0 0.23, then negative 0 0.32 will be less then negative 0.23. So it's going to be the other way around. So that's what you should get for that example. Okay, so now we're going to go and compare fractions or decimal fractions where we are having to uh, arrange them in ascending order. So let's have a look at this first example over here. Here we've got the fractions 0 0.305, 0 0.3, 0 0.035, 0 0.05, and 0 0.35. And we need to arrange these in ascending order. Now, in order to arrange them in ascending order, we first have to know how they compare to each other in terms of their sizes. So what is bigger, what is smaller, and so on. Okay, so in order to do this, I'm going to do the same thing that I did in the last examples, that I'm going to first write them underneath each other so that I can compare them more easily by looking at their place values. So I'm going to have 0 0.305, then I've got 0 0.3, then I've got 0 0.035, then 0 0.05, and finally 0 0.35. Okay, so now what I need to do, in order to arrange these in ascending order, remember that means from smallest to biggest, I need to compare them and see which one of these is the smallest, which is the next, and which is the next, and so on. So I want to see from smallest to biggest. Remember, we're going to be looking from the left and moving towards the right. So if I look at the left, all of them have got a zero in the ones position. So, so far, from the ones position, or based on the ones position, they all have the same value. Now we go on to the tenths position. These ones all over here have got threes, and these two have got zeros. So these two are going to be smaller than those. Because I'm going from smallest to biggest, I'm going to be focusing on these two first, because I know that they are smaller than those ones. Now I need to determine which of these is the smallest. So... Now I compare the tenth, the hundredths position. In the hundredths position, this has got a three and that's got a five. So this is the smallest of all of them. So that's going to go first. So 0 0.035 goes first. And then next is going to be 0 0.05 because it didn't have any tenths, whereas all the other numbers that I haven't done yet do have tenths. So 0 0.5 is next. Okay, then we're going to go. So we've done these two over here. Now we're going to go onto these ones. Now, all three of these have got three in the tenths position. So at that point, they all have the same value as each other. Now we go on to the hundredths position. In, do, in the hundredths position, this one has zero. This has nothing, which means it's also zero. And this one has five. So this is going to be bigger than those two. So I'm going to come to this one last because it's greater. Okay, I'm looking for the smallest at the moment. So now I look at these over here, comparing those. They both have no hundredths. This one has no thousandths, but that one does have five thousandths. So this one is going to have a greater value than that one over there, because this one has no thousandths and that one does. So 0 0.3 is going to be next, because it's the next smallest. And then 0 0.305 is after that. 
And last is going to be this one over here, 0 0.35, because it had 5 in the hundredth position, whereas these ones had nothing in the hundredth position. So 0 0.35 is last. So comparing them, to, in order to arrange them from smallest to biggest, or in ascending order, we can also write them underneath each other like that. And then we compare all of them, looking at all of their place values, seeing what is going to be smaller, what is going to be larger, based on the, the values of the digits in those different, posi different positions. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a couple that you're going to do for, your, uh, for yourself. The first one you're going to do is this one over here. You need to arrange these decimal fractions in ascending order, so from smallest to biggest. I'm going to give you one minute to work on this. Okay, so let's go through that. So over here, I've written down the fractions that we're working with. We've got 7.52, 57.02, 2.705, 0.507, point zero two seven. Okay, so first, I'm going to take all of those and I'm going to write them underneath each other so that they, are, so that they have all of the different um, digits in the correct columns. So first, I've got 7.52. Then I've got 57.02, the comma must go over there underneath the other comma. So this is going to be 57.02. Then I've got 2.705, so it's going to go like that, 2.705. Then I've got 0 0.507, so it's going to go like this, 0 0.507. And finally 0 0.027, 0 0.027. Okay, so now that I've got them written like that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to compare moving from left to right. So in the first, in the tens position, the only one that has anything in the tens position is the 57.02. So I already know that that's going to be the biggest. Okay, but I'm looking for the smallest because I'm going to be writing this in ascending order. So I'm going to go on to the next position. That's my ones position. These all have something in the ones position, but these two don't. So I'm looking at these two because I want to have something that's smaller. So I'm going to be looking at these two first and comparing them. So which one of these is the smallest? Now I look at my tenths position. In the tenths position, this one has got five and this has got zero, which means that this one is more than that. So the smallest fraction I've got here is this one, 0 0.027. That's going to go first in ascending order. Next is going to be this one, 0 0.507. Because it also had nothing in the ones position, but it did have something in the tenths position. It had that five where this one had zero. Now I'm going to go on. So now I've done those. Now I'll go on to these ones over here. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to look again, comparing these ones. In the tens position, I've got five. So I'm, I already know that, that one's going to be the biggest. Now I'm going to go on to these two. I'm going to compare these two. So in the ones position, here I've got seven and there I've got two. So this one is less. So this fraction is going to be next, 2.705. Then I've got 7.52, and finally my largest is 57.02. So that's what you should have got for uh, that example. Right, then the next one we're going to do, the last one for today, is comparing these fractions and arranging them in descending order. Okay, so here you've got the fractions you're going to compare, and I'm going to give you one minute to work on this as well.
Okay, so let's go through that quickly. So first, these are the fractions, and I'm going to write them underneath each other. So I've got 9.046, then I've got 0 0.6004, then 0 0.496, then 0 0.49, and finally 9.6. Okay, so in this case, I'm trying to arrange them from biggest to smallest in descending order. So I'm first looking for the biggest. So I'm going to start off looking from the left at my ones position. All of these have nothing, but these two have got nine. So that means that they are going to be bigger. So I'm looking at them first because I'm going to be going from small, from biggest to smallest. Okay, so these two, now I'm trying to find the biggest one. So I go, go to my tenths position. Here I've got zero and there I've got six. So this one is the biggest out of all of the fractions. So 9.6 is going to go first, and then 9.046 is next. Okay, now I've done those two. The next one I'm going to do is going to come from one of these over here. So now I'm looking, these all have nothing in the ones position. Now I look at the tenths position. Here I've got six, four, and four. So 6 is greater than 4 and 4, which means that this is going to be the next biggest. So I've got 0 0.6004 is next. And now I'm comparing these two over here. They're the only ones that are left. They have the same in the tenths position. Now I go on to the hundredths position. In the hundredths position, they're also the same. So now I go on to the thousandths position. Now in the thousandths position, over here I've got a 6, but over here I've got nothing. 6 is greater than nothing, which means that this one is going to have a greater value than that. So 0 0.496 is next, and the last one is going to be 0 0.49. And that's what you should have got for that example. And that is how we compare decimal fractions. Now that we've learned the concepts in this lesson, it's important to practice, practice, practice. If you haven't already got the worksheet that goes with this video, you can find it by clicking on the link in the description below. The worksheet comes with an extra exercise full of questions for you to work on to master the concepts covered in this lesson. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so that others can benefit from it too. Also be sure to subscribe so that you can easily find my other lessons and hit the bell so that you will get notified about lessons as I upload them.